Hey everybody, Troy here, and today I'm going to be looking at the Keychron K2 keyboard. Now, this is a keyboard that has been around a little while, and you might be saying, why is Troy doing a video on a keyboard that has been around a little while? And that is because I really enjoy this keyboard. I am late to the mechanical keyboard uh, world, I guess, and I wanted to jump right in with a kind of a, a, a budget-friendly version of a mechanical keyboard and I am really glad that I went with this. This is the again the Keychron K2. Uh, it's a rechargeable obviously keyboard that uh, connects with your computer either through Bluetooth or um, I think what's, what's the other one just wirelessly I don't know Bluetooth. <laughs> you can also uh, go ahead and plug it in to it comes with a uh, USB-C to USB adapter. So on my MacBook, I actually have to have like an adapter to uh, connect to USB. But I really enjoy this and it has a, a really nice sound. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, hear that. There you go. <laughs> um, one of the things that uh, you have to get used to is the uh, battery life. If you put function and then B, like green means that your battery is good and it'll show you different colors based on what your battery was. So it doesn't actually show the battery life actually in the status bar like a lot of wireless keyboards do, like the, the um, Mac Magic Keyboard does. But I'm really digging this keyboard. I really like the, the sound that it makes. Uh, it's kind of a vintage, I don't know if you, what would you call it, like an old Dell or a gateway computer <laughs> keyboard, just click clacking, clacky away. Um, but it is a lot of fun and you know, I, I do have two keyboards. I have the normal Mac keyboard that I use if I'm on like a Zoom call or something and that one's a little bit quieter. But if I'm just writing something, I, I'm really liking the Keychron K2. It does take a little bit to get used to because the, the buttons on the right hand side of the keyboard are not like in their standard locations. So for a while there, I was hitting the home key quite often uh, when I was trying to hit the enter key, just getting used to the new keyboard. And that's that's what you have to do whenever you switch keyboards, whether you go from like a full-size keyboard to one slightly smaller to a compact keyboard or just pretty much any keyboard you buy, there is that transition period. But it was really easy for me to go and jump in with a Keychron K2. And I'm really glad that I purchased this. And uh, you know, I, I might explore some other keyboards, but for now, the the K2 is my go-to keyboard, definitely.